Okay, so we're about to send you back a couple of short native bows made out of Osage. There is the hide glue, the water, the sinew. I've got it soaking in water for about 24 hours, not that you need to do that. I have chased the ring with an axe and a tomahawk. I'll show you those in a second there at the end of the table. So that is the first bow and that has been chased. You can tell it's not perfect but then again I didn't use a draw knife. It could be shot as it is but there you get a, a view of the one. I'm trying to get as close as I can give you as much light. So here's the other. I'm just going to hold this one. It's going to be uh, done as well. So here we'll just uh, get a view of it as well. Hopefully there's not too much glare. Um, everything's quite pronounced because I've got a couple of coats of hide glue on there. And this one too is the same size. It's about 42 inches. Um. Okay, so here is a freshly sinewed bow. You'll notice how rough it looks. How uneven, clumpy in some places. Uh, in a day or two it'll be as flat as can be. You won't be able to see any of those bumps right now. It's full of hide glue and there's 35 grams of sinew on about a 42 inch Osage bow. So let's just go down the bows now take a look at the sinew. It's, uh, it's pretty much dry. It's probably another week or two till my little touch-ups um, have dried. So there's the one hand there where we're going to put the horse hair and um, the one notch. And the other one is a little bit different style. Those two are traditional. That's a traditional style. And that is a traditional style. Vern VFC Archery. Thanks for watching.